Hey guys, it's Max. Uh, actually, um, let me restart this. Greetings, fellow Dimension Travelers. It is I, David X, the principal of the Black Heart Institute Service. And today, this video is probably going to be released right after the previous one. Probably on the 25th, because on this recording, I a new video has already been posted at midnight. So you guys can watch that while this waits. Anyways, I actually am hearing about the news about Assassin's Creed Infinity, which is going to be the next iteration of um, the Assassin's Creed franchise. And uh, I'm actually going to be saving a link to this game down in the description below, so you guys can actually check this out. Well, I'm not sure if you actually need to require a... Uh, account or anything. Okay, I don't know why it's uh, like that. Anyways, um, as you can pretty much see, we have like a huge thing about about the development of um, Assassin's Creed uh, Infinity. And the reason why I wanted to start this video in the first place is mainly because of what, how do you want the Assassin's Creed the new Assassin's Creed game to be. Like, what mechanics or style you want to see the game become. So to be completely honest, um, I'm not sure if anyone knows about this. Of course, Black Flag is my personal favorite, but playing more of the Ezio trilogy, I actually, my most favorite uh, games in the entire franchise, it's, 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 I'm stuck between Brotherhood and 2. Both of them have great elements, but there's just some concepts that make their other predecessors a bit lacking. Like, I love I love how 2 has the free exploration, but the notoriety system is kind of, like, out there. Brotherhood actually fixed it where the notoriety system was no longer a thing, as you had a cape because you stayed in Rome, but I missed the exploration on that. And not only that... I was thinking that, like, this is just my personal opinion of what I want the actual franchise to do. And, uh, honestly, I want to hear your guys' responses in the series. So, I actually want to hear what you guys want to see for the future of Assassin's Creed. Just wanted to hear your honest opinions. Like, for me, I want it to be familiar to, to the control style of the Ezio trilogy, like having the double run mechanics, but also a mixture of mechanics from Black Flag, where if you, like, hold, if you, like, hold the fast walk or the run button, you will automatically shove people out of the way. Like, you don't have to hold a separate button in order to do that. Like, I actually want something like that, like a combination of the control scheme with, it's like a mixture between the Ezio Trilogy's controls and Black Flag's controls. Maybe like a return of some familiar weapons for the Ezio Trilogy would be nice. Of course, exploration. Maybe get rid. Uh, maybe get rid of the notoriety, the notoriety system, where if you do too many bad stuff, guards will be on site looking for you and all that. Maybe remove that feature. And, and probably add some, and maybe some DLC of, like, alternate stories and all that, and extra locations that weren't available in the main campaign. I feel like that's actually kind of a good idea. And you know what else? How about legacy costumes? And, and the legacy costumes, instead of choosing a certain amount of games that are compatible with it, we could, we could, like, do, like, pretty much the entire franchise. Like, if you play any of the games from, like, the first games, like, where you are now, maybe that could work out for the legacy costumes, because the way how Black Flag used to make it, make it is that they quote-unquote, um, like the first five games in the series before Black Flag, if you play any of those five, any of those three out of five in a certain amount of time, you'll actually unlock the legacy outfits of Altair, Ezio, and uh, Connor Kenway. And since I mentioned the legacy outfits, 
maybe include Giovanni's robes and Ezio, old man Ezio's robes from 2 and Revelations. Honestly, Ezio's mentor outfit in Brotherhood, it's not that bad, but Giovanni's robes are actually my personal favorite outfit in the entire series. And may maybe add some challenging and challenge and have the original controls from the Ezio trilogy as well. And remember, maybe a little bit combined with uh, Black Flag. And probably have the ability to swing your weapons around, like your sword and daggers and all that. And maybe have it where it's like the uh, weapon wheel like the Ezio Trilogy had. Well, mostly for um, 2 and Brotherhood. Those were the games that actually did that better. Revelations kind of messed it up a little and 3 butchered it entirely. Not trying to be offensive to anyone who actually likes 3, but it's just my personal opinion. Anyways... I hope you guys hope oh, hope you guys are excited for this game because or at least when this game comes out because I know I am. Also, I want to hear your questions down. I want to hear your thoughts of what the next game would be. So what I just sh shared with you is my personal opinion of what I think the next game should be. Of course, having exploration, a combination of controls between the Ezio trilogy and and Black Flag, and maybe bring back the Super Jump ability from 2 and Brotherhood. Well, Revelations did it, but it automatically it automatically makes you latch onto the ledge instead of holding the grass button. I wanted to actually where you have to manually press the grass button, so that way you could give some sort of a challenge. And maybe have it where once you kill an enemy, you can actually go to another enemy and one-shot them as well. I actually would appreciate that. Also, remove the kick feature for both. Also, I would like to remove the kick feature and the um, and the grab feature that the enemies can sometimes do. Those that can be a little bit annoying. And maybe remove the because I feel like it, they give they get too much advantages once they do those things. Anyways, oh, and also, if this new Assassin's Creed game will include horse riding, make it where you can not only use horses to travel from area to area, but you can also, but make it to where you can also use them in like cities and stuff. You know, you don't have to, but it's just an idea. It's like one of the things that really bugs me in this game. But hey, every game has its flaws, right? Anyways, I'm going to end this video right now. The link... Well, pretty much, you're probably going to see the entire screen right here. Like, this entire screen I'm showing you, you're probably going to see all this, so... You can just, uh, take a picture of this, or just click the link down in the description below so you can read more about this uh, forum. Anyways... God, I want... I hope you are ready to answer questions. question... I hope you guys are wanting to uh, answer question of the day. What would you like to see in Assassin's Creed Affinity? And what kind and how do you want it to work? Anyways, I'm gonna sign off this video. I finished with my opinion, so I'll let you guys do your thing. I'm not gonna judge anyone's opinion. I just wanna i I'm just here to see what everyone would think for the franchise and all that. What they should include, what they should remove, anything. I just hope the controls won't be as jank as Assassin's Creed Origins, Ode as Origins, Odyssey, and Valhalla because their control schemes is very messed up. I'd rather go back to like how the Ezio trilogy started with their controls. Those are the controls that I'm really used to. But anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe and don't forget to subscribe and enable notifications so you won't miss a video that comes up on my channel. So I pass across again, Multiversal Guardians. I can't I can't wait for Assassin's Creed Affinity to, to release soon. Ah, and I'll see you in the next video. So I pass across again, Multiversal Guardians, and take care. Bye bye.